Hey everybody, welcome to another Posh Boutique tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this open house flyer in Canva. So let's get started. First I'm going to start out with a 1080 by 1080 Instagram post uh, template background. And I'm just going to go up to the color wheel and choose a background color. You can also go into elements and look for different background colors, but I like to choose my own and kind of play around with the color wheel until I get it looking how I want it to look. Um, and we're going for like a pink, you know, hot pink Barbie fuchsia type color. And um, now I'm going to look for a house background. I'm going into elements, typing house, and then I'm going to look for a picture of a house that I like for the flyer. I'm going to click on photos at the top and look for a more realistic house. And once I find one I like, I'm going to click on it and just sort of stretch it with my finger. Um, I'm on my tablet, but depending on what you're working with, just stretch it out to your liking. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to pick one of the stock models that I want to use for this particular flyer. I actually have a lot of stock models if you guys are interested in stock models or, you know, different elements for your flyers. You can find them on my website link down below. It's prettyposhlife.com. So this is one of my stock models I'm using and I'm just going to center her the way I want her centered. And now I'm looking for a pink gradient going back to elements and I'm just searching pink gradient because what I want to do is I want to um, sort of fade her out on the bottom where I'm going to put some of the wording and get rid of that harsh line on the bottom of her blazer. So I'm going to use this pink gradient and the fade part is going to um, face up towards her. And now I'm going to duplicate it several times by clicking that plus icon that you see there and I'm just going to hit it several times until the gradient goes all the way down to the bottom and you'll see what it did is it got rid of that harsh line where the bottom of her blazer is and I'm just continually duplicating it so that that faded effect um, gets rid of the harsh line um, and then I have to do it one more time because yeah there we go you just play around with it until you get rid of any harsh lines with the gradient, okay? And then now what I'm going to do is click on add a text box, add a subheading, and I'm going to start adding my wording. So I'm going to be typing the words open house, big and bold. I'm going to be using two different fonts. You can play around with fonts in Canva. I like to pair a plain bold font with a script font on the bottom. Um, so just play around with your font pairings because depending on what you use, it'll really make your flyer pop. So I'm going to um, click the effect button on the top and hit outline. And I'm just going to outline my text in black and um, decide which font I want to use. And you, you can see Canva has several and I've also uploaded several of my own. So I'm going to use this one and I'm going to drag it down a little bit there. And now, um, and the font is called Lemon Milk. It's one that I uploaded myself. Uh, I think I got it from defont.com. Now the word house for open house, I'm going to use a fancier font. Um, so there's another one that I like to use. It's called Hamilton. Also another font that I uploaded from defont.com. You can upload your own fonts or you can choose any of the ones that Canva has to offer. Uploading fonts into Canva is really easy. Um, there's several videos on it, but um, I'm not going to go over it in this video, but there's several videos on YouTube if you want to upload your own fonts or even TikTok. And I'm going to apply that same outline by clicking effects outline and then I'm going to apply that same black outline to the text so everything is cohesive and I'm just moving things around a little bit until it looks how I want it to look and I'm going back to add text I click on text and then add a heading or a subheading you just pick any one of those there that say add a heading or add a subheading you just pick any of those to create a text box basically and then you can just start typing so now I'm going to um, 
type in some of the details like the time of the open house and the date. And most of, of everything that I'm using came from Canva except for the stock model of the real estate agent holding her iPad. Again, you can find that and many other things on my website. I have stock models, logos, business card templates, all kinds of stuff for you guys to, to use for your own business. And you do get a commercial license with it. So you can use this on your own flyers and then sell them like on Etsy or on your own website. So I'm just adding more text here. I'm going to delete that. I hit an extra page on accident. And again, my website for those of you wondering are, is prettyposhlife.com. And I'm just going to be adding the time of the open house on the bottom. Real simple flyer. Um, when you're creating flyers for yourself or for clients, the less wordy it is, the better. Because when people try to add too much information to a flyer, it looks cluttered. It looks busy. It takes away from the design and the design doesn't really pop. So if you want it more wordy, your design is going to sort of get lost and vice versa. So I like my flyers to be simple, to the point, with a bold design. Um, and, you know, if you want, if you have a whole bunch of details that you need to, you know, make people aware of for like an event, for example, you should be directing them to a website. Like for more information, visit this website and you put it down at the bottom of the flyer. Don't try to stick every single last de detail on your flyer um, because it will make it look too busy and take away from the whole design. So there we have it. I'm loving the way this looks. It was super easy. Again, I used the 1080 by 1080 background size and it is when you when you open Canva and you look at all the templates, it's the Instagram post, which is perfect for social media posting, Instagram, Facebook, all of that. So that's what we used here. Isn't she lovely? Barbie, very fitting for this recent Barbie release. And yeah. So again, thanks guys for stopping by and I'll see you in the next